Hello and welcome to another episode of the iPad Lettering Show. My name is Karen, I am from iPad Lettering, bringing you the best tips and tricks about anything iPad related. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can use iPad OS 13 to easily install Procreate brushes and practice sheets. And yes, you heard it right. Um, we have iPad OS now as opposed to iOS. So this is a brand new operating system specifically made for the iPad. While I'm not going to show you all the new features of iPad OS, I'm just going to show you um, the most important feature that you can use to install practice sheets and brushes. So the first thing we want to make sure is that we actually do have iPad OS 13 installed and you can check that by um, going to your settings and then select general and then um, software updates and in the software updates tab you'll see uh, the version here and you'll see this one says iPad OS 13.1 so this is how you can check that you have the right operating system. So now let's see what's changed and how we can install practice sheets and brushes into Procreate using the new iPad OS 13. So this is my website so what I thought I'll do is just show you how to download one of the freebies. So let's go to the freebie section and then let's download the iPad lettering starter kit. Let's just show you because this one has a practice sheet and a brush so I can show you how to install both. So we'll add this to the cart and then we'll go to checkout. And then the easiest way to do this is actually uh, use your account. So I'm logged in with my account and then I'll choose an address, continue and then I don't need to pay because it's a freebie which is perfect agree to the terms and conditions and then place the order and so now you've got the order confirmation here and um, in the order summary you'll see that there is a download link right here so you would have received an email at this stage but you can also directly download your iPad lettering starter kit directly from here by clicking to go to downloads so now this will take you to the download section in your account if you've got an account otherwise it'll just give you this option to uh, download this file right here so now what we're going to do is tap on the ipad lettering starter kit.zip file and it will ask me now do you want to download this and i say yes download and then now the problem is you probably think what's happened now so this is a little bit confusing um, what you will notice is there is this little da uh, download icon here now, which is brand new. This was not available in iOS 12, but this is brand new for iPad OS 13. And if we tap on this, you'll see that we have got the iPad lettering starter kit download in our downloads area. This is a brand new feature. So now what we can do is tap on this and you'll notice now we've got the files app. So this is my files app iCloud Drive and there is a downloads folder here which is also new so this is very similar what to what you would have on your laptop or desktop computer where the files get downloaded into a downloads folder so this is what happened here as well now and I've got my zip file here so now what's also new which is amazing and I really love is the ability to uncompress zip files right from the files app so you don't need any additional software anymore any additional apps you can do this right here and you can do this by tapping on the file to bring up the context menu and you can see this looks a little bit more like a normal operating system as opposed to a mobile operating system so this is super cool so we have the uncompressed function here at the bottom and when we tap on this you'll see that we now have a uncompressed folder and if we open it up, you'll see that it's got the two practice sheets and it has got the brush as well. So super easy, super handy and fast, much, much easier than uh, the way it was before. All right, so now let's see how we can transfer these files into Procreate. So I'll go back and I will open Procreate. And then the easiest way to install the practice sheets and the brushes is using drag and drop. So let's bring up the files app and let's move it to the side here 
and you'll see that I've got the, my two uh, practice sheets and the, and the brush here. So now with the practice sheets, I can select both of them and then just drag them into Procreate like this, and there they are. And then for the brush, we'll need to open one of the canvases. And then I always recommend to make a new um, brush set like this. So you'll see that I've, I've practiced before, but I'll do this again. So I'll create a practice brush set. And then I will drag the uh, I will drag the brush straight into here and then I have it. And the nice thing about doing it this way is, is that if you have more than one brush, you can drag them all at once and just place them into whichever brush set you would like them to go into, just like that. All right, so now we don't need the files app anymore but we have our um, practice brush right here. And then you can start practicing straight away. So much easier than the way it used to be before using iPadOS 13 and using drag and drop to install all your practice sheets and brushes just like that. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and I will see you in the next video.